starts that's where it ends and you you, you, you want to come in uh, just real light and then it gets deeper as you go back and um, and then you need to find the center point measure the center point take a beating tool um, with the adjustable fence and set that set that tool right on top of the line and adjust your fence that way and then if your skis are the same width as you work on that one um, and so um, it doesn't take much of a, you know, this thing sits down, you want about an eighth of an inch is the depth on this. And you really need to look at it this way. This way really won't register anything in terms of how deep you are. But if you can look at it so that that sole is kind of disappears. Take a look at that. See the depth in that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't take so much. So it's, it's full depth in the middle and then it dies to nothing at both ends? Yeah, well, you're going full depth, you know, starting right about here. Okay. Right. Yeah. So just go and slate. And then you, you might find that you start to chatter a little bit. And the little, a little, um, um, uh, little protrusions come up. Go the other way. And, and go lightly with it. Do a little demonstration. Yeah. <coughs> So anyway, what you do... What's that? They're not uniform? <clears throat> Works here, but it seems like it's off a little bit here. Much. You got... If it's a little... It's a little wider here. Okay. It's there. Yeah, you never know, you know, how, how things, just a little, just a little subtle little hump on one side or another can change how it goes. Well, I can do some cleaning out there to clean that up. You know, it's off about, you know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Okay. Um, so, um, I don't think it's that critical. Okay. So I think we can just go right down the pike because I think this is the only place where it's going to be a little off. And so, you know, you 
you just cut him a little bit at a time. And, and, and you need to push in and this and pull. Ah, it shifted. These guys here, you, you just want to thumb tighten. And oftentimes you thumb tighten them, but you got to use the pliers to <laughs> untighten it. And then just keep going until you bottom out, until it hits the, hits the soil. And, um, yeah, I, I think it works good to go light and to just do a consistent pull on it, and um, I think you'll stay out of trouble. If it starts to chatter, um, go the other way. And you may have to go this way, that's far, and then you got to go this way because of what grain will do. Um, so... And if it does start to chatter, you can you can take a knife blade and just cut away any kind of little um, lifting of grain, um, and then go the other way. Because sometimes you get that chatter if you try to pull over it. So, yeah, that's it. We only have two of these, so um, there. I would say jump in. Um, if if you got wide skis, uh, Duncan's doing two. Anyone with wide skis, you need to do two coats. And um, you should go. Uh, you should go in about a half inch on the first one. So, the outside edge of the of the slot should be quarter inch, uh, or excuse me, half inch in. You saying half inch from from the edge? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Anything else you need to say about that? That's pretty much it. And the other one is. Um, And this is a square cove. Square coves are more difficult to cut. Was he pulling this um, this way? They're, um, they're, you know, they I wasn't close enough of, to see. Of carrying grain on the side. Um, and so, uh, just to forewarn you a little bit, they, they work good. They're fine. But 